Hello everybody, Brooke here and welcome back to my channel. I uh, wanted to hop on here and make a video really quick because basically I just found out that my Pomeranian is not a purebred Pomeranian. Uh, my phone battery is on 5% so this video might shut off. Hold on. Close this window. One second. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I just found out that Preston is not a full Pomeranian. And basically, I was at the dog park today and I started to notice Preston getting a little bit aggressive. He started to growl at another dog. And this is oftentimes uh, characteristic traits that are associated with pit bulls. So I am starting to think that my Pomeranian is mixed with pit bull, but just to be sure, I am gonna be doing a DNA test. I called Preston's veterinarian. I explained to her my concerns and she tried to tell me that I have nothing to worry about, but if you seen how Preston was acting at the dog park today, then you would understand why it is a little bit of a cause for alarm. Um, so other than that, guys, Preston is doing really good. He is still the sweetest little chicken nugget the world has ever seen. It's just... I'm a little bit shocked because when I purchased Preston from the breeder, she did not say anything about Pitbull. And so now I'm just like, holy crap, like is Preston going to uh, grow up and start to look more like a Pitbull? It's something that I have to think about now and it's something that I have to figure out. Um, also, with that being said, I am so excited because I just called my plastic surgeon about an hour and 30 minutes ago, and last time I got my lips done, I got something called Juvederm Velour, and it is a uh, lip injection that lasts 18 months, so... A lot of people like to say that uh, Juvederm Velour is for people that like to fill your lips and forget about it. And that's definitely how I am because I don't really care to do all of that maintenance. Um, so I'm so excited because in two days, I'm going to be getting two full syringes of Juvederm Velour. So my lips are going to be bigger than the African continent. And um, I am just so excited. So guys, yeah, I just needed to hop on here because I know that there's a lot of people that watch my videos and are in love with Preston. And I just wanted to say that there is a chance that he is mixed with Pitbull. I don't know if it's 50%. I don't know if it's 25%. I don't know if it's 10%. But the behavior that I saw today at the dog park was definitely a red flag that he might be mixed with something. And I can tell that he's kind of sad right now because he hears what I'm saying. He understands what I'm saying. And I know that it stresses him out. The cutest angel in the world. Guys, I wanted to give a quick update. I have been doing kickboxing two times a day now. I feel like my whole body has changed. I'm like rock hard. Like right now I'm feeling myself rock hard. So that's really exciting. And it's kind of cute that you guys can see my bohemian tiny home. Guys, I really feel like I'm living my best life. I am just so excited and everything is going extraordinarily well. And um, yeah, I mean, I really couldn't ask for anything more. I'm actually on my way to kickboxing. Right when I get off of this video, I'm gonna Prada. Right when I get off of this video, I am going to be heading to kickboxing. Let me go grab Prada really quick. Come here, little honey. 
So guys, this is Parada, a standard teacup Pomeranian. And this is Preston, a micro teacup Pomeranian. And they are brothers. So if Preston ends up having some pit bull in him, then that means that Prada is going to have pit bull in him as well. So I'm really excited to get to the bottom of this. And the cool part is, is from the DNA test, I'm going to be able to figure out a bunch of health factors. I'm going to be able to figure out all about their ancestry, their health, and um, if there's anything bad that might run in their family. And so, guys, this is my life, my tiny home, my tiny dogs, and my bohemian decorations. And guys, as you could tell, I'm bored. I'm in America. I've been in America for the longest time. Right now, I have been in America for the longest amount of time since I was 18 years old. So since I was 18 years old, this is the longest time that I have spent in America and I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Like, do y'all understand? I don't think you do. Like I'm doing dumb shit now, like getting Juvederm. Like, I'm ready. I'm trying to go hop from country to country and drink espresso. I don't think y'all understand. Let me put them back really quick. Go on, little honeys. Go on. Oh, my goodness. So guys, with that being said, I just wanted to hop on here. Fuck, I even forgot. Guys, today's video is sponsored by Sweaty Mole Rat. Check down in the description box for more information. But yes, today's video is sponsored by Sweaty Mole Rat. That is a grunge, edgy, streetwear brand. And I'm so excited that they sponsored today's video. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for... For watching today's video and best believe that right when I find out the results of Preston's DNA test um, I will let you guys know if he actually is mixed with Pitbull or not um, as of right now I'm gonna go ahead and assume that he is because he literally growled at a French Bulldog today and it is behavior that I have never seen before so guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you tomorrow on my next daily video. Peace. Woo!